Wes, we are so excited to talk to you all about Summer House and More because you, we were even saying before we started, you're the boy du jour of Bravo. Dude, it's, yeah, it's crazy, huh? I don't say that. Yeah. In your head, do you say it? No. I was I back like on a serious note though, I've been super happy to see just like being myself landing well, you know? Um kind of I'm actually my looks are taking a beating because everyone's like, This is what happens when someone's funny and like mild <laughs> or like decently, you know, normal looking. So I've been my personality has kind of uh shined like a bad light on my face apparently so but it's okay times are tough man i mean Dude, you're I gonna know. get canceled for something <laughs> no no cancels <laughs> but i feel like that is such an interesting thing too because so your first time on reality tv yeah everyone's like oh it's so exciting but you do everyone's first season they're watching themselves back in mm -hmm. angles mm -hmm. they've never watched before and mm -hmm. so many times with like housewives everyone's like how are you feeling like all like the negative comments but are you are you getting any negative comment or and how are you dealing with the mentality uh the only negative stuff is just like it's somehow in a positive an like i got a I got a dm from an overweight guy who was like i felt seen by you um being insecure when a tall guy with abs walked in and i was like okay well i, I said that to you in private yeah well, i don't know <laughs> um so those things are like it's just funny to see how you like play out but it's it's been great so far mm -hmm. and my mustache gets a lot of a lot of shit too but, but the not. glitter was so cool when yeah i couldn't have done that without it <laughs> yeah. so well how are how have the dms been have the ladies just been piling in yeah everyone before <laughs> this show's aired been like oh get ready for the dms and i was like you'll get a couple <laughs> no it's been crazy mm -hmm. um a little overwhelming I, it's got to the point where like i can't keep up with them so i kind of i don't know i just I'm trying to like remove myself from caring, but I'm always like a guy who like I try to like text everyone back. I feel bad mm -hmm. if I don't. Um, so like, I carry guilt from just even if someone says like, "Hey, love you on the show," I feel obligated to say thank you. But it's uh, you can't do that to everybody. And that's a lot of back mm -hmm. and forth too. Like, thank you. How yeah, are you? Yeah, and then yeah. once you do that, then it's like you have opened the gate. So. I feel that energy of you is why so many people love watching you on the show because your caring nature. Thank shines you. through. I appreciate but that. But I feel that's also very hard to navigate on a show like Summer House mm -hmm. where there's a lot of people. You want to care for everybody. Yeah. But caring for two people at the same time might make both of them mad at you. Yeah. How has been navigating that, especially coming into the house as Lindsay's friend? I, I think everyone did. A, well, I'll, I guess I'll start with Lindsay and then talk about mm -hmm. everyone. But um, before I came into the house, Lindsay did say to me, like, don't let my relationships with anyone, like, change how you feel or like how you operate which was great of her to say yeah. um and then she also they were gone the first weekend so i kind of got to go into it like i was alone but at the same time i didn't feel like i needed like mama bear there kind of thing um but then just as a whole i think everyone those relationships have so much more history than any like relationship i have now mm -hmm. um it was very i don't know if mature is the right word but like people no one needed to like trauma dump on me uh so i kind of you know got like my two cents in when i could and kind of observed more than i felt like i needed to kind of like juggle relationships mm -hmm. which is how i mean how it probably would normally go but um it was great mm -hmm. yeah and i mean with Lindsay and carl you did come in as like were you more her friend both of their friends and how did you navigate being kind of a yeah. first, I mean, you were in the summer house for the first time and seeing this all go down. Yeah, so I actually met Lindsay out in New York um, at some dinner we were drinking, came up with a podcast idea, first people to ever do that. <laughs> um, and we just kind of like stayed like text friends oh, for like a few years, or I guess it was just a year, but um, I actually got laid off, okay, mm -hmm. from work. Sent her a text kind of joking, I was like, oh, we can do our podcast now. Um, and that must have been right when, you know, the summer was starting, mm -hmm. ideas were floating, um, and she thought bringing me in would be fun. Mm -hmm. So that was great. Um, met Carl like a month maybe before we all went into the house. So I knew him basically just like last minute, mm -hmm. um, but it was before the show started. And weirdly throughout the summer, I do think just kind of, we did have a better, we had a good guy energy yeah. in the house. Um, and I found myself by nature in a lot more 
of like the the boy talks than I did with girl talks. Um, so Lindsay and Carl's whole situation, I definitely heard more from Carl's side throughout the summer than I did Lindsay. Um, I, besides maybe like one convo, Lindsay and I kept it very light and just kind of like playful the whole summer. And I got a little more like deep with Carl throughout That's the summer. Good. I do love, because I think on the most recent episode. I, I know what you're gonna say. Oh wait, no, I don't think you, I don't think oh, you do. I know. <laughs> well, I was gonna say you were the most relatable person getting a pedicure talking about being laid off. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, what that's the one know? that. So that one. Oh, that airs tomorrow. tomorrow I think. But, yes. Uh, what did you think you were going to say? Yeah. I, was gonna say. I thought you were going to talk about when Carl was telling his side of the story, and they. I was sitting in a in a donut floaty with it's goggles. The goggles. You, there was a moment where I was like Your really locked in. Have been yeah. And he, Carl was like starting to cry, and I was like, Oh my god, I have fucking kids' goggles on my face, and I I was just like play cool and. It, they cut to it a couple times. There's the other time too, where he's also opening up after Soul Cycle, and you just have a towel on your head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I am a, I'm a sweaty, sweaty, sweaty man. Mm-hmm. Um, so that won't be the first time this summer you see me with like a towel or a t-shirt like tucked into a hat because I just like am sopping wet all the but time. I, <laughs> good for you. Fair, uh, fair. <laughs> it's hot over there. Hot steamy. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but I because you were kind of saying you were sort of trying to keep a neutral stance as much as you can. Your friend Jesse really kind of yeah. comes in hot Didn't. as, <laughs> he's like, I'm team Carl. Yeah. I, I don't like how this is happening. Yeah. What did you think of that approach? I was proud of him watching it back because yeah. I think he listened to Carl in the morning and kind of like just said it how it was in the car. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't, too over the top. He just kind of, I think he said what a lot of us were thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially just him kind of being like such a douche the first two episodes. It was good for him to kind of like, you know, like come back down to earth and say things that I would imagine a lot of us thought. And also he said to Carl, another thing that we were all thinking when he, in the morning he was like, you know, has Lindsay always been like this? And Carl's like, yeah, kind of. And Jesse goes, well, that's what you signed up for. So he's like, he's, he, it's not even, he did say he was Team Carl, but he hasn't like, I mean, he kind of gave Carl a little team chirp, bad. chirp yeah. as well, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, no, I think he's good. I think we balance each other well and like, the, like, he'll, Jesse will come in hot, I'll kind of like watch it unfold. And, he'll just and sit in the background later. with the goggles yeah, and I'll let just, the Twitterverse, you yeah. know, focus on that. <laughs> I'll uh, compile accessories and just watch from afar, <laughs> but... Uh, well, we had the tent episode, that's tonight, and you and Sierra kind of had your first, mm. like, official, unofficial mm. sleepover, yeah. you know, first date, first sleepover, all yeah. caught on camera. How's how's looking back on that, Ben? Uh, I'd call it an official. Well, the sun wasn't technically up yet, so uh-huh. do you call it? It's hard to say. I'll, we can outside, call it official. Yeah. No. Really? A tent? <laughs> we zipped it up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Sierra says so she's like Uber's being called for her for days. Yeah, I don't, true. I don't think she's On the grass. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay, that's fair. Um, but it was good to kind of like, I didn't even think about it until the moment we were all like, you know, strapping up for bed. Um, <laughs> but you don't have to like play the game where like, is it the right time? Should I fall asleep? Whose room? Tiptoe up to the door, knock on it. Like wedding crashers. You remember to do the little door tap? Um, so that was like a very natural way to just kind of like get that like gesture over with, you know? And how uh, <laughs> watching Amanda and Sierra have the little chat where see, where Amanda's kind of like, Wes gives me ca- uh, Kyle in the sense that he's just really excited to share with the class. Yeah. <laughs> watching back, do you feel like, were there moments you're like, oh, I should have maybe kept some things just between me and Sierra or you can't help yourself? Maybe, but then she told everyone the exact mm-hmm. same thing I did, but I did it with her in the room. True. in the car so no plus it's like this it's all still very like middle school you know kisses and stuff yeah. so mm-hmm. like we're fine i mean we're we're okay well, I, yeah i mean i always i think it was i thought it was like endearing to see the both yeah. like both of you like even in that one car ride where it's the two of you together and then um like two other people in the back seat and you're like oh yeah like this happened whatever and you're both just like Woo. yeah jesse <laughs> set it up like so cute he was like did you get a good night kiss like, yeah dude yeah French kiss. Oh, okay. Little time. Bonjour. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what's so funny? When Sierra was in here with Paige, it was right after Valentine's Day, and Sierra mm-hmm. said she had a really fun double date Valentine's, and when I asked, who'd you go with, she hid behind Paige. Okay. How was your Valentine's? 
Where was I? Um, God, I'm trying to remember. I think it was like working or doing something. Okay. Um, okay. It was good. Okay. But I'm trying to remember what day. Because are we talking just the 14th? Because a lot of Valentine's... Did, was there a double dinner yeah. happening around that time? Yeah. <laughs> Can't say, but there's... Uh, people celebrate Valentine's Day on the 13th and on the 15th. Oh. Okay. But... Okay. You have like a Coachella yeah, Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah, like a, <laughs> there's like a there's like a drop with all the yeah places to go. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's a good tease for the tease for the viewers. What, yeah. Would you would you encourage the ladies to maybe not DM you as much on Instagram or? Ooh. No one's said anything h- horrible just yeah. yet. Oh, that's okay. Um, it's all, and there, there are a lot of women who who like send their like shoot their shots, but preface. Like if things don't work out, I'm here. Aww, no, it's so nice. It's nice. Yeah. Very cute. Nice. Um, so those get like a little double tap, okay. obviously. Yeah. Um, okay. No, so there's a lot of re- there's a lot of respect in the DMs. People don't believe that, but there is. It's good. It's good to Which hear. Is good. It's good etiquette. Yeah. I feel also. I'm sure you're getting some DMs that, of course, are on the flirty nature. But it's funny when we uh, talk with Jasmine from Martha's Vineyard Summer House. Mm-hmm. She was like. I feel I want to adopt Wes. Like, he feels like oh. my son and my bro- like brother. Like, oh. Just like, so I feel you probably I also saying. get a lot of yeah. DMs of people like, I just love you. Yeah, yeah. it's like like motherly stuff. Yes. Yeah. There's been a lot of that. Just like, like you're, it is funny though that I've seen a lot of things that are just like, you're so wholesome and cute and mm-hmm. sweet or whatever, yeah. which I probably have an ex or two who hates that narrative for sure. Oh. But, um, okay. well, I just mean... Yeah. I'm a little baby. <laughs> I can grow a mustache. Uh, but no, That's it's true. it's nice. Like, I'll take any compliment. I'm not going to push away love. Mm-hmm. You know? Any Bravo Lebs, other Bravo Lebs you've been in contact with? Mm. There have been... The Southern Charm dudes followed me. So okay. we just kind of, like, have been, like, Instagram bros. That's exciting and scary. Um, <laughs> Did Austin? I, not Austin. But, I do, like, I met Craig, obviously, this summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um great guy Craig will just send me the most random stuff um it's like his like older side shows on social media platforms um it does. but uh one of the one of the bachelor girls following me the other day who which was exciting I forgot her name she's hot though she looks great I mean usually oh real should like, I look it up some is that bad bachelor's yeah. hot okay. um Daisy Kelsey no it was not however I'll give a shout out um her name's Autumn blonde girl oh middle hair I, well, I, she's a Missouri girl, so we've known each other for a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, like a, not a bob, but not long. <laughs> like, she have a part? Okay, that's a But no, the one, who, the one who followed me was from like t- a season or two ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's pretty, though. I think it's, I don't want to say her name wrong. That's fair. That's she okay. See, she uh, this said, also seems like this? someone, you're getting a little nervous. It seems like someone you are excited to DM. Uh, we haven't DM'd yet. I was, oh, I was so happy with the follow <laughs> from a different show. That's true. You're That's across cool. the platform. Yeah, you really and, are. And like networks and shit. It's cool. That mm-hmm. is very, okay. Thanks. And I am also curious, because you were saying that even maybe there's some exes that don't love the sweet honey boy narrative. Mm-hmm. How were overall, just when you told all your friends, when you posted the trailer, hey guys, by the way, do you know Bravo? Uh, it got sprinkled. <laughs> well, they, people, I'm like day by day, like, Amazed at the Bravo like cultiness and yes. like how they just know everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and after people knew it was Jesse and I, like a week into filming, um, I was like, oh, shit, these people are on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then my friends who are like Bravo girls all started seeing it. So it's been the cat's been out of the bag way That's before okay. premiere day. But now it's like my mom's friends. Oh, yeah. The like middle aged women who like mm-hmm. watch Bravo shows. Most of your DMs. They're taking it. Yeah. <laughs> My mom, yeah. But they're on Facebook Messenger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, those ladies. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it's been good. Um, how was Craig coming in? What was the, what were the vibes there? I know him and Jesse were a little nervous, maybe, uh-huh. but uh, they were, they were both very mature yeah. about that whole uh-huh. situation. Um, but I I love Craig. He's mm-hmm. very like kind of teddy berry. Like I feel mm-hmm. like I relate to in a way, just <laughs> loving and hugging and mm-hmm. nice. Um, he was very welcoming to me. We had fun. Uh, I have like not one bad thing to say about him. Mm-hmm. Same. Because I was telling Caroline too, mm-hmm. if there was a man who says, I just want to work on my mental health and help you pay rent. I, yeah. I'd, Sign me I, up. I'd be like, what? <laughs> How were you? Because I kind of, when he offered that and Paige was like, no. Yeah, she called, she was like, no. Were you kind of shocked? Because I was like, I want him to like, that, I'd be in DMs, Paige, yeah. Paige's DMs like, girl. 
I'll yeah, take but it. if you're in inflation, <laughs> if you're gonna do that, you, you might as well just get married. Like, because that's such a like a tie, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the, I don't, I don't know the relationship mm-hmm. as well as probably others do, but um, I just feel like Paige is going about it in the most like technically mature way possible, mm-hmm. which is like not to be like strings attached to like random different things if that makes sense do you feel after spending some time with them this summer that an engagement is on the horizon yeah but from what i've learned though hasn't that it, i feel like it has been for a while but uh, so like good for them for feeling like they can like plateau it in a way because i'm so like in my head i think the second you know I get a girlfriend, then it's engagement, marriage, kids, house, stuff mm-hmm. like that, which is just my... Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Um, so I admire that they both can, like, love each other and not, like, jump into shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Which is cool, because not everyone, clearly, yeah. does that. I think Kyle was definitely bugging out a little bit when he heard that, because he's like, We're, we gotta move to Jersey. Like, <laughs> yeah. I got the house, the kids, or whatever. Yeah. What about, like, what, like Kyle and Amanda? Like, what were you, like, did you kind of know that they were, they were having those, like, not problems, but, you know. Well, so I rode up with them the first weekend mm-hmm. and got, like, a quick, ex- like, thrown in the, you know, fire with, like, just their little chirps. <laughs> um, but up until this point, I didn't, I wasn't a part of any thing clearly close to like Lindsay carl like t- type heat mm-hmm. um but yeah like I'm, i mean a man is not afraid to f- and, you know chirp him a little bit also so, I, I keep cussing sorry <laughs> you <laughs> chirp i don't think chirp is a curse i said <laughs> oh the f word right uh oh uh oh well speaking of things that were probably you know car rides with curse words me and caroline were thinking mm. were you in one of the infamous lifts with carl and Lindsay? no so no. Okay. This is interesting watching it back because when Carl's explaining it, he's like, I was in the car with all the guys. Yes. I was with all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't surprise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I was with all the girls okay. when that happened. Um, so I, mi- I missed the whole thing. Probably for the best. But the second, yeah, I don't need to be in that. I don't, yeah, I'm like, happy. You're like, my, my rating gets hit enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but the second one, also, like, obviously I didn't go home with them, but the the tiff started like towards the back end of dinner and I, I remember, you know, you can kind of sniff out people's body language and the things mm-hmm. are like getting weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, but obviously, Amanda's the only one who got to like be a part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think Amanda was all of us when she came back and she was like, she co- go like locks herself in the room and she's like, oh my God. Oh, she did a full, yeah. like, full. after you yeah. do conditioning and, like, <laughs> coach says, get up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ramen and chaos. Yeah, that was rough. That was all. I, that was such a great shot of her. It was. So it was. So it was. So they, they, they know how to do it. Yeah. Um, well, you and Jesse obviously have this great bromance going mm-hmm. on, and I saw that, you know, maybe maybe you you two were thinking of doing a little podcast or venture, i.e. Giggly Squad. What would your name be? Some, ooh. You know what's funny? Mm-hmm. This is a call back to the end of the first episode. Okay. Someone said this to me. I would never suggest this. But at, when the girls were talking about our, like, sexual prowess, mm-hmm. someone goes, you guys should start a podcast called Left Lip. So inappropriate. Okay. But <laughs> we'll see. the left eye and the left lip. All right. Yeah. And nice. also with podcasts, I think it would be fun. I just, I see so many dorks starting podcasts every day. <laughs> that it scares me it, and also you have to like then make sure a lot of times what happens with bravo peeps starting podcast they accidentally talk themselves into some unwanted oh people. i'm sure yeah i would produce pr- for okay. starters with jesse on the podcast i'd produce mm-hmm. for sure uh, have you do you feel like because i feel like you're trying to you know guide jesse mm-hmm. do you, as the summer continues do you try to guide him to like a single girl that maybe piques his interest i know the house is hard because mm-hmm. I think it's Gabby's the lone single gal. Do they ever have a little moment or does he try to? I wanted Jesse and Danielle to hook up. <gasps> oh. Which, yeah. who knows okay. what happens. But I saw she kind of did a two truths and a lie thing. And that was one of the possibilities of mm. truth. Yeah. Ooh, and Danielle, I mean, she'll hook up. Yeah, she's not she scared. Fun. Yeah, oh, mm-hmm. she. So she's, not, she's not afraid. No, she's been burned. So I hope if that does happen, mm-hmm. Jesse treats her well. Yeah. But I, I uh, no, with Jesse, I'm like a Jesse defender. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and I, we like experienced a lot of things like towards the end of summer together that like brought us closer to um but he's a good guy he just like leads with like even with the page stuff i think he talked about it a little douchier than he actually acted mm-hmm. if that makes sense mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um we're like i i don't think his actions with page were that over the top mm-hmm. um and i think even craig like craig kind of understood he was mature uh, Kyle was, of course, like the weirdest one about it. Um, <laughs> but no, Jesse's, um, he, he's, he'll figure it out. Wait, well, when Kyle does call him out, yeah. I think, you know, we see that in the trailer. Mm-hmm. What was going on in your head? I was in the corner, luckily, and I was 12 o'clock from Craig, Caddy cornered Jesse, and then I didn't have to see Kyle's face. And so I just turned my head to the left and, like, let it happen. <laughs> um, yeah, that was none of my business either. But mm-hmm. that's you like to stay out of business. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, also Wait. another thing, people. I guess I well, at least for me, mm-hmm. if I'm meeting people or I'm in a new house, and obviously this is my first share house or whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you're new and you don't have history, you kind of gotta like build relationships before you try to start tearing them down. Okay. Well, I feel now's a perfect time to yeah. not tear them down. <laughs> But because Uh-oh. you are so nice, I wanted to do a little, we want to do a little game with you. Okay. Because you are such a nice Does it have a name? Yeah. It does. It's called. It's called Getting Messy with Wessie. <laughs> okay. PSA. Okay. Is that our trademark? Is that, no. oh, is that not a nickname you like? <laughs> we need to add the T because people don't know my name has a, a T, T in it. Okay. Really? So it's got to, we got to sneak the T messy in because I can't Wessie. keep okay. pushing yeah. the narrative that Wessie. my name does not have a T in it. Okay. Yeah, I better. had a cousin write me happy birthday without the tea. <laughs> this is why I don't well, talk to cousins. You know, that could, yeah. Yeah, that could be a family thing. <laughs> well, so I am kind of curious, and we'll just do like a little quick. Yeah, rapid fire. fire. Uh oh. Um, you're driving to the Hamptons tomorrow. Okay. Who from your cast do you hope is not in your car? Ooh. That's a great question. Um, I'm sh- Gabby would probably talk my ear off. <laughs> um, and read your chart. Yeah, yeah, I could just see, I could see, I like to go in waves when I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you can tell I drove every time. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'll go in waves where it's like, let's talk or let's listen to music loud. I'm sure Gabby and I could find a, like a crossroads where I didn't want to talk and she's just f***ing yapping. (laughs) But, (laughs) I love her. Um, Well, the dinner prep has been big this season, so best cook and worst cook. Ooh, not to be biased, but Sierra did a southern dinner. Mm-hmm. Lindsay helped her, but that was fabulous. It was great. Mm-hmm. A lot of prep. Um, worst cook, anything that has to do with being helpful or handy around the house is Jesse. It is the worst. Oh. Wait till you, I hope they show him trying to set up for a party at some point. Uh, or the guy's off. just like, he just looks around like he's lost. Uh, I think. And it's a tall guy, you need him to like hang stuff yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> he has so many advantages. Dude. Mm-hmm. Guys, a waste of space. Who is? I mean, what happens with the summer house, the share house? Sometimes there is so much. Not, I won't say filth, but your guys' stuff is everywhere. Yeah, who, I've, it, that's even bugged me a little bit watching uh, it on camera. Who is the who is the messiest, literally, of the people? Oof. Um, I'm cluttery, but I also like I'll I'll wake up and I clean the kitchen a bunch of times. Um, but Lindsay cleans a lot. Lindsay's good at cleaning. I feel like the person who's the dirtiest, you probably don't see them in the act, which is oh. honestly, let's go Paige, because she told me she hasn't done a dish. <laughs> that was, that was since a killer line. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For sure, Paige. All right, what about messiest, like, you know, in the not literal sense? What is that? Um, in the mess sense. Yes. I mean, Jesse's another good one. He, he does come in hot. Mm-hmm. But Kyle's like the biggest instigator ever. And he, he, he doesn't like present like he is. Mm-hmm. But he is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'll ask a question when you're least expecting it. Mm-hmm. And who was the cast member that surprised you the most mm. by the end of the summer? That you're kind of like, oh, that's who they are. Good or bad? Both. both. <laughs> you suggested both, and I have to tell us both. <laughs> I think I had a very like unique relationship with Danielle that like I'm very like pr- not like proud of, but like I think. Her and I, like, have a good, good friendship and, like, mm-hmm. kind of understand each yeah. other in a good way. We're, like, there I just, there was one night, and again, I'm not sure how it'll play out, but, like, I think she was kind of, like, the lone wolf in a situation. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and I was like, I'll talk. I feel like she received my Aww. opinion maybe more than anyone else's. Just because I think we were like, you know, on the same page the yeah. whole time. Okay, and who was the bad surprise? Because you said, dude, that you came to the top of your good, mind, yeah, so. Uh, no, well, I don't know if there is a bad, I'm a very, I'm very um, optimistic with like people. Um, because people love to ask, like, who do you hate? Yeah, I'm you don't have to hate anybody. anybody. Yeah. No, but who just surprised you? you I mean, yeah. watching Lindsay's mm-hmm. stuff back, because I didn't, get, I didn't get to see any of that. I think yeah. seeing that was kind of sad. Mm-hmm. I feel I didn't I, love watching it. And I have to imagine, even for them, it's kind of a sad situation. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's not a good one. No. Mm-hmm. But well, we can end on a happy note. What yeah. was your favorite? What was your favorite theme? Favorite theme? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to give away what the themes are. One of them, I'll just say the party I threw <laughs> at the end of the summer. Okay. I like if if it plays out on camera the way I envision it, mm-hmm. it's gonna be sick. Wait, and with that, because we don't always get to hear the music that plays, what is your kickoff party song? Like for West Ooh. playlist. <laughs> Ooh. I'm helping you with this tea too. Right now or of all time, I'm. Oh wow, that's such a good question. This is so generic. Dude, Rich Baby Daddy Drake says it, Sexy Red is so good. Okay, yeah. And I've all been, right. that's been on repeat for, what has it been now? Six months? Yeah. Well, there you go. It might be the best song in like four years. Okay, yeah. Shout out to Sexy Red, yeah. yeah She's a Missouri girl. Pound Town 2, yes, yeah. all right, good. Okay, look at that. Sexy Red, Andy Cohen, a lot of Missourians. Yeah. We <laughs> no, love that it. is the trifecta. Yeah, yeah. No, seriously, what more could you need? Oh. Have us.